Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can find the big files on your hard drive and delete them so that you can free up some more space. Now I'm sure that after time this happens to everyone, your hard drive starts to fill up and the more you have on there, the slower your Mac's going to get. And if you don't need the files on there, why bother having them there? So there's an easy utility that lets you delete the unused big files that you don't need and it helps you figure out which files are taking up the most space on your hard drive. And that tool is called Omni Disk Sweeper. So if you go to omnigroup.com, you're going to see this web page. And what you can do from here is you can click on the Products tab at the top. And then you scroll down. And under Free Products, it's a free download. It's Omni Disk Sweeper. So if you click on this and you click on Download up here towards the top, it's going to bring you to a download page where you can download the file. Once it finishes downloading, you can open up the disk image, agree to the license agreement, and just drag on the disk sweeper to your applications folder. Then you can launch it, and it's going to show you right here a list of all the drives connected to your computer. So you can see I have my Macintosh HD hard drive here, and then my Time Machine backups. So what you want to do is you want to take your main hard drive or whatever disk that you're looking to get big files off of, select it, and then click Sweep the Drive. What it's going to do is it's going to bring up this window, and on the left-hand side you're going to see a list of all of the folders that are in the root of your hard drive, both hidden and not hidden. Now it's going to look through your hard drive and it's going to scan over all the files on your drive and categorize them based on size and it'll show you once it finishes the folders that have the size listed in red aren't finished indexing yet and the ones that are in green are and uh, once it's in purple like you see applications it's finished and it's going to look through it's going to figure out how big each file is and how big each folder is and it classes them in list of size so now you can see it's finished sizing my hard drive and everything's categorized in list of size. And my top folder is my users folder, which of course is going to be the biggest. It contains all my documents and movies and photos and music, things like that, at 104 gigabytes. So from here you can click on any folder that's in your hard drive, let's say the system folder. And it's going to tell you, your. it goes in a list order, so then I can click on library. And then I have everything from here. And every single file on your hard drive has the size next to it and folder. So let's say there's something big in this Frameworks folder. I can look and see what's taking up the most room in there. And down here below, it gives you some details about it. It says part of packages update.security.2009.001. So you can see a little more information about it. Now, just a little general warning. Things that are in your system folder, you probably don't want to delete. Uh, just kind of a, a warning. It's safest not to delete things that are in your system folder or in private or, you know, in anything that's a folder that you don't regularly use. You probably don't want to delete stuff from. Even your applications folder, you know, if you delete your main apps that you use all the time, that could be a problem. Uh, just because it's a big file doesn't mean that you should delete it. So let's just look in my users folder and you can see it's a rather large folder. And maybe there's something in music I don't want. Let's say for some reason I want to get rid of my entire iTunes library. I could do that from here. Now, once again, not recommended. All I have to do is select the folder right here. I have my iTunes folder selected. And I could go down to the delete button right here, click on it. And it's going to say, destroy the selected files. You aren't getting them back, so make sure you really want them gone. So kind of a warning. And then, of course, you could click destroy. And it says destroy for a reason because it really is just destroying everything. So always be careful. So I'm definitely not going to destroy this. Now if I double click on the folder down in the corner here, it's going to open up that folder in a finder window so that I can see where it is in a more traditional view if I wanted to. Now let's say I don't want to size my entire hard drive because it does take a while. I can go up to the file menu and click size folder. And from here it's going to give me a menu where I can just choose to size a specific folder. So let's say I want to just size my 
documents folder and I can click open and from here it's going to just size that folder and you can see it rather quickly I didn't have to waste my time sizing everything else and you can see that I do have some pretty large files in there too. Now I can also just size my home folder from my uh, file menu right here and that's probably the safest option because most of the stuff in your home folder isn't going to really hurt you that bad if you would accidentally delete something um, with the exception of like your iTunes library or, or things like that. So basically as long as you're careful and you don't delete things that you shouldn't be, so just you know take fair warning and look at what you're deleting before you do it, um, I'm, Disk Sweeper can be a very helpful utility and very useful in saving you space on your hard drive. I know I've probably gained at least 50 gigabytes of space back after using this tool. And uh, it's very useful and it can really help you out a lot. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.